Hello and welcome back to another action figure video. This episode is based on the Micro Man. These figures are pretty much updated Micronauts figures. Same style, just a lot more interesting features. I have a few series of the Micro Man. The first series I will be talking about is the Micro Ladies. Okay. First one is Acrovina. I really like these figures. They're very cool and they come with a lot of accessories. <clears throat> Here she is, naked style. She comes with the chest and back pieces, some leg pieces, some arm blades. You see, they come with a bag full of extra hands and a and a standing base. There's her name. Let me flip the card over. And this is what she looks like with all of her gear on. Very awesome. Okay, the next one is Ninja Lady. Here she is. As you can see she's got back and chest piece, some leg clips, arm clips, shin guard type dealies. Here's her weapons. Her bag of hands and there's her little ID badge there let me flip the card over and there she is in full gear see how you can attach her blades to her thigh clips There's so much articulation on these figures, you can... It's like multitudes of poses you can put them in. The next one is Commander Lady. Here she is. Get close up. I like how she's see-through. Or has clear parts anyway. Her chest and back piece, arm and leg clips, and extra little parts. There's a knife, and here comes the heavy artillery. Here, three big guns, her extra hands, and there's her ID badge. Flip the card over. Just look how badass she is. Very cool figures. Okay, last in this series is Acrodita. She also has clear parts, chest and back, arm clips, shin guard thingies, weapons, so the chain, some knives, some mace balls, ID badge. Extra hands. And there 
there she is. Complete gear. The next series I'll be talking about is the Sky Masters. Now I only have one of these figures and he is Sky Master Hayate. Very cool figure indeed. He is a macho man cool blue clear type suit it comes with this back piece chest piece this little bird type attachment leg clips extra hands and a visor Flip the card over so there you can see what he looks like in complete garb. You can take the bird apart, add his wings there, and then the bird thing becomes a weapon. You can turn it into a space, or not a space glider, but just a glider in general. And there's the, the bird. A very cool figure. Here's the rest of the figures from that line, but like I said, I only have the one. Okay, here is the Microman Acro Year X series. The first one I'll be talking about is the X12 Acro Cleave. I'll start out by showing you his card. The naked style. There he is with some of his gear on. Posed with one of his weapons and posed with another one of his weapons. Down here is the picture of all of them grouped together. Okay, now on to the actual figure. Now this has to be my favorite Microman series so far. I only had a few of them, but just the characters in this one to me are super cool. Again, this is the Acrocleave. Here he is. He comes with two different weapons. Like a little gold staff. And this little dragon thing which clips onto his arm but you can also take the tail off and turn it into a different weapon that hooks onto his hand here we have him he has these cool acro year wings you flip it over He's got a breastplate underneath this little monster face thing that clips over his breastplate. You talk about articulation. If you like articulation in your figures, these guys have it. Take that thing off. You can even move the now that's like unheard of articulation where you can move the shoulder around like that. But Microman is all about articulation. They each come with this bag of extra hands and a stand. But I always I don't ever take those out. Next we have X13 Acro Voltec. Here he is naked. 
with all this stuff different head and different weapon assortment there's the bag of extra hands here he is with his weapons I always was a big fan of like the space aliens so the crazy space helmet and the whatever these things are electro spheres or something gives them that really cool space alien look it comes with these things that you clip on his feet these things they bend and they clip onto these little pegs in the back here either this side or here are very cool you also have this gun and this you can clip it onto the gun for like an extra cool looking laser pistol or it can become an extra head as seen right there which makes these figures even that much cooler to have all these extra thingamabobs now on to X14 Acrobiome. This one's just crazy. Let me show you the naked style. Crazy scorpion head looking thing. You can turn his head into the big snake craziness well, let me just show you the real one comes with these two things you can clip onto his hands because you can take the hands off and you just slide them through this is an extra bag of hands there's a shield here he is this gigantic head you can also have this big like, scorpion clips onto the back of his head and then you can clip this thing on to the end of that or you can unclip this and turn it into his handheld weapon and this thing is connected at each like little ball joint so you can adjust it whatever way you want Just adds that extra coolness but yeah this this series is amazing anyway on to the last of this series which is my favorite which is hard to say have a favorite in this series because they're all cool but this is Axe 11 Acro Squirrel Naked style Complete with everything Little pose pictures Here we go with him This is extra bag of black hands Comes with his Staff thing here Got some things that clip onto his shins. Got his chest plate. These things. The reason why he's my favorite is that face sculpt is just cool. Kind of like a skeleton Viking almost with a visor. And he's got these adjustable things here. You can slash your enemies. To bits. It's very you can fold up for easy storage. You can also there everything's connected by ball joints pretty much, so you can take this off, take this off, take the chest armor off. These figures are just amazing. 
There some they can be brittle though, so you have to be careful with them. And here we have the Bio Machine series from Microman. This series also came with four figures. Came with Machine Stinger plus Machine Microman Goda, which is the female figure. And she forms, her parts form this vehicle. They can also form her armor. And all four of them together form bio machine. Let me show you the cards now. Machine Tiger plus machine microman hack she's got like a little motorcycle there he is with his armor on machine mirror it's the machine microman zexku however you pronounce that and he has a little don't really know what kind of like tank thing this is. There he is with his armor. And last is Machine Kong. It's Machine Microman Trinity. There he is in his armor. Now this is the series I was telling you about that all the feet broke off while they were in storage. But this one is the Machine Kong. And then we have Machine Stinger, the female character. And then we have Machine Tiger. And here is the bio machine put together. I really like this one. The only figure that feet didn't break off is the machine mirror. I believe they didn't break off because he was inside the bio machine. But this is an awesome awesome robot it's like each one of the fingers move independently which is really cool I have a couple extra pieces I didn't I couldn't remember where they went and they were loose in the bag so I just left them there a couple extra weapons Have all these like clear blue pieces that fit on there. A little steering column. It's very shiny with all the chrome work. Another great Microman series. Wheels spin. I would show you the vehicles all put together, but like I said, this series is kind of brittle, so it scares me to take him apart because I really like him in this version. So I'm just going to leave him like that. That's why I showed you the cards so you can see the vehicles and what they're supposed to look like. Until next time, kitties, keep collecting.